Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 271, MI Complications. In a patient suffering an MI, what is a complication that can cause death before reaching the hospital? Cardiac arrhythmia can lead to death before the patient reaches the hospital. What is a complication that can arise if a patient has suffered a large infarct? In a patient suffering from a large infarct, it can lead to cardiogenic shock, which has a high risk of mortality. What post-MI complications can lead to cardiac tamponade? Ventricular free wall rupture can lead to cardiac tamponade. What post-MI complication can lead to severe mitral regurgitation? Severe mitral regurgitation can happen due to papillary muscle rupture post-MI. What MI complications can lead to a ventricular septal defect? Ventricular septal defect can arise due to an interventricular septum rupture, which can happen due to an MI. Why is ventricular aneurysm formation an important complication of an MI? In ventricular aneurysm formation, there is decrease in cardiac output. In this, there is also an increased risk of arrhythmia and embolus from neural thrombus. The highest risk of getting ventricular aneurysm happens one week post-MI. What can cause a friction rub one to three days post-MI? A friction rub one to three days post-MI can happen due to post-infarction fibrinous pericarditis. What is Dressler's syndrome? Dressler's syndrome is an autoimmune phenomenon resulting in fibrinous pericarditis, which can happen several weeks post-MI. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first date for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.